right, another day in our lead code problem. So today we got 283 move zeros. It's a very good question. So it has a lot of likes, 6,000 likes and only 200 dislikes. Let's read the problem statement. So given an integer array nums, move all the zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of a non-zero element. All right, and then we have a special note that you must do this in place without making an extra copy of the array. So this is even a little bit harder. So let's see what we got here. So we got this array 0, 1, 0, 3, 12, and it should become 1, 3, 12, 0, 0. So the key is we cannot use uh, extra array. We have to do it in place. And usually when you have to do it in place, we use something two pointers. And then let's see how this solution would work with two pointers. We'll point to beginning of the array, call it beginning, and then end of the array, let's call it end. And then we basically make a condition, okay, if we meet the zero, we have to swap the element. So on the first iteration, it becomes 12, zero. And then on the second iteration, you know, we meet zero again, we go three, zero. And then this is our result, 12, one, three, zero, zero. But actually we have to meet this condition while maintaining the relative order of non-zero element. So this not be a correct solution. We need one, three, one, 12. So how can we solve it? So the key to solving this problem is actually use one pointer and we'll point to the beginning of the array right here. We call this pointer, let's say index. And then we say, if we meet non-zero element, then we perform the swap. So let's say we do one, zero. It's uh, zero, so we're gonna keep going. And then we finally hit one, so it's non-zero element. We perform the swap. And then we move index element. It basically will point where the next non-zero element is supposed to go. The next iteration, we have zero. Again, we skip, then we have three. So we swap three with zero here. And then we move I a little bit more for the next, uh, where the next element will go. Zero, we switch, we don't do anything. And then we finally put 12, and then put zero here. And then we move I. So we end up with one, three, 12, zero, zero. It's exactly what the problem is asking. Okay, let's leave it here and let's go to the code. So let first create index element, put it a point to zero and then like here. And then we create the regular for loop. So we say for let I equal zero, I is less than, sorry, nums.length, uh, I plus plus, I plus plus. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna check if the current element that we are on comes that I is non-zero. So non-zero, then we'll uh, non-zero, then we'll make a swap. And then we make a swap, like here we made a swap with uh, you know regular temp variables. We say let's temp equal nums index and then nums index will equal to nums Oh, sorry, will equal to nums i and then nums i nums i will equal to temp. And then when we perform the swap of here, we'll here and then we have to move i index, so index plus plus, so move the pointer. And then at the end, we have to simply return our nums array. Let's delete this. And let's try to submit and see how we've done. Submit. All right, so we got it. This is how you solve uh, problem 283, move zeros. Thank you.